morning welcome to Nintrop farms and uh it's bright and early in the morning oh you can't even see the... she yeah there she is bright and early in the morning and not really sure what we're gonna do today but we might be going to get the combine john deere called and said it was ready so we'll probably be doing that but uh yep stick around to find out what's going on around here well we're uh cruising here in the dump truck and uh, we got Joey behind us in the loader tractor. We're gonna go clean up our hay yard. I was gonna film us getting the combine, but it ran out of time. Well, not really ran out of time, it's just easier to not film. But, um, and then we haven't done much today. It's 4, 4.45, pretty much almost five o'clock. But uh, now we're going to clean up a hay yard. We're in the dump truck, headed down there. Here we got Joey in the loader tractor. Loading up some of the old silage from last year. Said no, there's rot and there's some more over there. Got him loading it up. We got some more cleaning up to do here, but. Here's our second load. He's loading me up right now. Just about full. I think he's gonna put one more scoop on me and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. This is my air conditioner here, so gotta have them all the way down. Can't open that window, but this one works real nice. Scoops the air right at me. Got the 6415 scoop and silage, old crappy silage. He's dumping it on this on the truck. <laughs> We're now starting the 11th load. We're getting down there. Getting this pretty empty here. But doing good. Got these Midland radios and they really help. They're really sweet. Been uh, cruising in this truck thing's a lot of fun to run but it is old no AC so uh, I've been sweating okay now we're here now the pile is got a pretty good sized pile going on here so first step we got her parked and whatnot so pull the PTO out so that the PTO is now on open up the door reach out here right there. There's one load back there, one load in here. Have to dump out. Now, let's do it. Oh. Close the door so I can see in the mirror. Let's pull her back. Pull this lever back. She goes up. Starts dumping. Now it's all the way up there. Here and slowly roll forward. 
will slowly come down. gonna wrap up today and this bit of the uh, cleanup of the hay yard needs to be brush hard yet all the silage pile is all cleaned up now we just got to get ready over here we're ready to go two we got the gray pickup back finally we got the hay trailer on there and um, Joey's going out to the tractor and we're about to go haul some hay so stick around and uh, it should be interesting because it always is anyway well here we are at the field uh, Joey's got the tractor with the same tractor we were using yesterday the loader he's got the spike and the uh, bale bale spear on the back on and we're just loading up hay onto our trailer uh, there's not really a good driveway for this field so I'm just sitting in the road with the trailer backed up and it does look sketchy but it's working so far so yep he's just loading me up and, uh, and then I haul it down to the hay yard that we were cleaning up yesterday and uh, dump them in so Yep, it's quite a process, not really, but I don't know where he went, but he's just picking up bales. There aren't too many in this patch without a driveway, and then we'll get to move to a place that's a little nicer with the driveway, so, yep. Here he goes. He sets the bale down on the back of the trailer and then slides them all forward together there. Then he drops one. It's on the back. And then he spins around. No, I guess he only picked up one. Oh yeah, no. There he goes. He spins around. Picks up the one that he dropped on the back, off the back. And then he pulls up there to set it down. This trailer will haul eight bales at a time. I believe that's six. Now he'll go fetch another two. So, there he 
way it goes. Here's our rig. All eight bales at a time on what we call the gray goose, the gray pickup. So to dump these bales, come on over here. You have to lift up this. And uh, if you're not careful, this thing will hit you in the face. Open up that latch, drops the bales off. And for some reason, it likes to have like some kind of whatever on that end, and it's pretty nasty to get on your hands. Right there, that's our third load here. The old F-350. And, uh, then we head back to the field. This is our hay yard that is where we were cleaning up yesterday. See how well it turns out over here. There's a big mound of silage. Uh, yeah, this is a process. We just keep repeating it. So, yeah. Well, guys, uh, it was going pretty good. The seventh load there on the trailer. And you might think that the truck's sitting a little funny. If I can get out of the way here. It's sitting a little funny. We ran into a slight issue. That don't look so good, does it? I don't think so. I was just backing this truck up. Come up here. This is why we need to brush hog all this. Come up here. Right here sits a nice gate with a nice sharp corner. Punctured a nice hole right in that tire. Flat. Got a full load on there. So. Yep, we're doing good, doing great. It's also a hundred and like two out right now. It's five o'clock and I'm sweating a lot. But anyway, here she is. Here's the flat tire you can see. It's very flat. <laughs> But, yeah, there we go. I don't know. I guess we're gonna get her fixed. Anyway, well guys, if the lighting was right, there it goes. You can see the day's winding down. We got our new combine behind us, the 9770. We used to run a 9600 and the final drive snapped for the second time and destroyed the whole side. And we just totaled it and got rid of it. I bought this new beast. It's a 2010 9770. And we ran it for about um, 30 minutes this, this summer on wheat and the uh, separator shoe fell apart and whatever John Deere covered it and then yeah so this is the new combine here so step up here oh I hit my head As you can see, it's all pretty clean. The cab's in pretty good condition. I'd say it's in very good condition. It is Green Star ready, which would be nice to have, but we don't have that for this. So that kind of is unfortunate, but it's got the green tank extension up here which we didn't have on the 9600. We had a little 200 bushel tank on that thing. This thing will hold around 300. And um, duels, 
Yeah, it's a pretty clean combine overall. But, uh, yep, that's the combine. I'm leaving for the week and, um, yeah. I'll be done here for the week and then uh, I'll be back next week and maybe film some more. But uh, as I said, so that'll be it for you folks. Thanks for watching and see you next time.